now on Coast TV News. FOIA violation found. What the Attorney General's office is recommending Rehoboth Beach do next. Embezzlement, theft, and missing funds from the Gavin Knupp Foundation. What Tiffany Knupp's lawyer is saying. Aviation boom on Delmarva, the big project on the eastern shore. Slowing speeders in Dewey Beach. How the police department is ramping up its patrols. I'm tracking severe storms moving through the area and a brief break from the humidity. This is Coast TV News at 11. Hot and stormy. We're taking a live look into Ocean City. You can see the flash of wow. lightning right as we have this video up. Good evening, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. And I'm Mallory Metzner. Welcome to our News at 11. We begin tonight with weather and first alert meteorologist Chris Mastrobono. Good evening, guys. Yeah, it's been an active night across most of the area. We did see a severe storm move through earlier through Ocean City. Now we have a, our new severe thunderstorm warning issued by the National Weather Service. This is for Dorchester, Somerset, and Wacomico counties. And the primary threat with this storm is damaging winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Could see some small hail in there as well, but this storm is moving to the east at about 25 miles an hour. You can see the, the reds here and the darker colors. You see a little purple there. That's some strong rain, some heavy rain moving to the east there. Salisbury, you're in line as well. Delmar, and this is all pushing to the east over the next half hour or so. So we're gonna continue that severe threat, it looks like for the next hour or two. Temperature wise, where we've had the rain, we've cooled down. 65 Ocean City, 76 in Redden. Coming up, we'll continue to track the storms as well as talk about how we are looking for our Thursday and a some lower humidity in that seven day. Thank you. Chris. New at 11 and this is continuing coverage of an ongoing story. The Delaware Attorney General's office has found that the city of Rehoboth Beach did violate the Freedom of Information Act during the hiring process of new city manager Taylor Tedder. According to the decision released today, the city violated the Freedom of Information Act by discussing the city manager's contract and compensation package in executive session, which is not open to the public. According to the decision, quote, public employees compensation is a matter of public record as it is a well settled that citizens have a right to know how their public servants are compensated with taxpayer monies in whatever the form that compensation might take. The FOIA complaint at hand here initially was filed in mid-June by concerned residents who argued that the city charter requirements for the position were not fulfilled with the hire of Tedder. And for months now, the pay package for Tedder has been a talking point in Rehoboth Beach. As a reminder, Tedder was awarded an annual salary of $250,000, given another $50,000 in moving expenses, and given a $750,000 housing loan that will be forgiven if Tedder stays in the position for seven years. The salary alone was $90,000 per year more than the previous holder of that position. And now that the ruling has been handed down, the question becomes, well, what's next? According to the decision, technically any action taken at a meeting in violation may be voidable by the Court of Chancery. However, the decision cites the Delaware Court of Chancery, which considers that solution to be a serious sanction and says it ought not be employed unless substantial public rights have been affected. Basically, they caution restraint here. With that in mind, the Attorney General's office recommends Rehoboth commissioners discuss the city manager's contract, including compensation, and ratify the vote at a future meeting held in compliance with FOIA's open meeting requirements. The AG's office says that the meeting agenda must include time for public comment. Another turn in the case of a teenager who was hit and killed in a hit and run crash in 2022. Gavin Knuff's mother, Tiffany, has been charged with embezzlement and theft. This is relating to funds missing from the Gavin Knupp Foundation. The foundation was created for scholarship opportunities. Worcester County Court documents list nine charges against Knupp. According to these documents, Knupp embezzled a total of $12,625 between January 1st and December 29th, 2023. 
Documents continue to state Knupp said under oath that she had received permission from the foundation to use the funds for her personal lawyer in a 2023 contempt case. Knupp's attorney spoke in Ocean City today, saying they will be entering a plea of not guilty, likely to cancel their court appearance. The bottom line, she's done everything the right way. She has followed every rule. She has attended to her board. She has attended to her foundation. And she's done nothing but care for others in the community despite the tremendous loss that she suffered. Knupp's first court date is currently scheduled for July 23rd at the District Court for Worcester County. New at 11, it's something that hasn't happened in 47 years. Today, the Delaware House of Representatives voted to override a veto made by Governor John Carney. All of this has to do with House Bill 282. So let's get you a little context on that first. According to Rep. Paul, Paul Bomback, the sponsor of House Bill 282, the legislation improves the transparency and fairness in the state selection of retiree health care plans. It revises the State Employee Benefit Committee, requiring public decisions in person, attendance by the chair or vice chair, more public information, and adds retiree representation to the committee. The vote of the override of the veto was unanimous in the House. These changes are scheduled to go into effect January 1st of 2025. With no end in sight to our blistering heat, towns on Delmarva are asking people and even businesses to preserve their water as much as possible. The town of Millsboro is asking people to keep their water usage to a minimum. But luckily for one person, he has his own water supply he uses at his own expense. When it's hot like this and you're using a lot of water, the pumps are running, they're overheating, you know, you, you could burn a pump up. So, you know, you, you can't just turn the city water on and just pay the bill. You know, you got the maintenance that they don't have to deal with. This brings us right into our Coast TV poll for the evening. We want to know what's the biggest cha challenge for you when it comes to conserving water? Let's take a look at the updated results from earlier tonight. On your screen here, it looks like the majority, 55%, saying household use. That's their biggest challenge. 32% say it's lawn care, 2% for car washing, 11% say other. Now this has changed throughout the evening and actually we've seen household use be in the lead the whole night, but lawn care was right there. It could change again if you want to go vote at coasttv.com or use the Coast TV mobile app. I'm Madeline Overturf and here's a look at just some of the things happening across Delmarva. Delaware health officials are warning the public to watch out for rabid wildlife. Especially this time of year, they say cats, bats, raccoons, and foxes are the most common hosts of rabies. The Dover Air Force Base could soon allow commercial flights to and from the base's flight line. It's part of a joint use agreement in the making for years. Dover City Manager says traditional passenger flights not happening, but charter flights are on the table. Speaking of aviation, safety improvements are underway in Easton. Crews at the airport have started moving dirt from the airport stockpile. They are shifting the runway in order to align with safety standards from the FAA. That's a look at just some of the things happening across Delmarva. I'm Madeline Overturf. Putting a halt to speeding, Dewey Beach's police chief says there will be more officers enforcing speed limits. This comes during Dewey's busy season, of course, and coincidentally just this past Monday, a multi-car collision on Route 1 outside of the Grotto Pizza on Reed Avenue left a car overturned in the intersection. Locals we spoke with say they want to see better driving behavior. Fortunately, I don't think there's been anything terrible happen, but a lot of people like me going, whoa, <laughs> slow down, you know. Officers are also going to promote the use of proper crosswalks. In other news, President Biden and former President Trump are just one day away from facing off on the debate stage. And this first debate could be a game changer in a tight race for the White House. NBC's Bree Jackson breaks down expectations heading into that big day. The stage is set for the first presidential debate between President Biden and former President Trump, with some voters bracing for what's ahead. A hot mess. I expect a hot mess, to be completely honest, because it's just like, 
I'm pretty sure they're going to go back and forth like, oh, no, you think his policy is good, but my policy is great. Others are hoping to see each candidate paint a clear picture of their vision for the country's future. What both candidates need to do is talk about what they're going to do for the American people, how they're going to show up as leaders. A new poll finds the majority of Americans, 6 and 10, say they will watch Thursday's debate as both campaigns push to get their message across. These are the two most disliked candidates in presidential campaign history. They need to give voters something fresh because voters are tired of the same old, same old. Political experts tell me they expect President Biden to focus on the economy, touting jobs created under his administration while attacking Trump as a threat to democracy. Former President Trump could hone in on concerns about crime and immigration under Biden's leadership. Both sides may roll out new ideas to see how they land with those watching. Because we know there's a lot of measurement that happens after the debate and they can find out what's working and what's not. An historic moment when the sitting president and the former president face off and a major test in the race for the White House. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. Both campaigns are looking to build momentum from Thursday's debate. President Biden plans to have a rally in North Carolina, while former President Trump is scheduled to hold one in Virginia. And we have more news to get to this evening. Enhancing safety at this park in Lewis. The makeover coming soon and how many thousands of dollars it's going to cost. And Independence Day in the first town. How you can take part in this gorgeous floating parade. Tracking severe storms this evening, but tomorrow morning in Cambridge and Crisfield, we'll see a few lingering showers, clouds, but sunshine by the afternoon. We'll track the severe storms and have a look at that weekend forecast next. Your Ford dealer presents Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. The rugged, renowned F-150 truck with best-in-class maximum available towing and payload. One more, visit your local Ford dealer. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. But hurry, this offer ends soon. Transform your bath today with Bath by Spicer Brothers. Call now and ask about our Refresh for Less promotion and get a new bath or shower for only $69.95. Plus, get 20% off all upgrades. Imagine stepping into a beautifully renovated bath designed by our experts and installed by our certified professionals. This offer is hotter than a sauna and won't last forever. So don't miss out on our Refresh for Less promotion for just $69.95 with 20% off all upgrades. Before you sign, keep Bass by Spicer Brothers in mind because you deserve the best. Well, it's been a stormy night across the area. Ocean City, 65 right now. We are having some uh, difficulties there with the camera, but we are going to see the showers through the overnight and thunderstorm activity beginning to move across the area. We had the severe thunderstorm warning uh, issued by the National Weather Service, Dorchester, Somerset, and Wicomico counties until 1130. And this storm is moving to the northeast at about 30 miles an hour. Torrential downpours. The primary impact, though, is that the storm is wind gusts over 60 miles an hour. Could even see some uh, small hail in there. And then we go to the northeast here. We have a new warning just issued by the National Weather Service for Sussex County. This goes till 1145, and this extending through the entire coast of Delaware from Bayville all the way up to Lewis. And again, the primary factor with this storm is damaging winds in excess of 60 miles an hour and those torrential rains. And they kind of see the moisture moving from a southwest to northeast fashion. And that's what we're going to see for the remainder of the night. Temperature wise, you can see where we've had the rain 65 Ocean City. 70 Ocean Pines, Milford, you'll get your rain in about an hour or so, 79 there. Now you see the storms here on Futurecast beginning to move over the area through the overnight. The severe threat should wane over the next two hours, and then we will continue to see rumbles of thunder overnight, and then a few lingering showers by about 5 to 8 in the morning, and then we will see some gradual clearing as we head into the afternoon hours, and then eventually We'll see those lower humidity levels by late Thursday and certainly into Friday. So 6 a.m. we we'll, could see a few showers around the area. We keep the clouds uh, hanging around throughout the morning 
Temperatures rising into those mid to upper 80s by the afternoon and the sunshine and a more northwesterly wind, which is a refreshing wind and will wipe that humidity out of the tri-state. Now we take a look at uh, temperatures across the area right now and they are pretty mild for this time of the year. And we are seeing 88 in Milford for tomorrow. Again, those morning showers possible. And then we see clearing skies in the afternoon, 86 in Cambridge. And we're looking at temperatures of around 88 in uh, Pocomac City and 87 in Salisbury. So it's going to be warm tomorrow, but again, lower humidity levels. 71 scattered storms. We are seeing those uh, severe storms right now. Gusty winds possible with those. Morning shower early, then sunshine in the afternoon, 87. And then your pick of the week, 78 degrees under mostly sunny skies low humidity but unfortunately it's only one day because we see the humidity fly right back up there for the weekend but then we drop as we start the month of july storm chances late saturday and sunday lower humidity and a dry start to the month of july thank you we appreciate that update this playground in lewis that you see here on the screen is set to receive a makeover upwards of four hundred thousand dollars the Lewis Parks and Recreation Commission unanimously endorsed Kopman and the preferred vendor for the Canal Front Park Playground Replacement Project. The goal of the project is to enhance safety and enhance accessibility. Concerns about safety at the current park were emphasized by observations from city officials who advocated for repairs due to reported hazards. One local we spoke with thinks the replacement project is going to help keep kids healthy. Redoing those playgrounds is everything for those kids. It's going to make them have a more safe environment to play at. While the construction timeline for this new project has not yet been finalized, the commission says it's critical that the surface installation, that that happens during these warmer summer months, similar to the repaving of Canal Front Park tennis courts. On July 4th, thousands will line up on the banks of each side of the canal in Lewis. 40 to 50 boats will parade from the Roosevelt Inlet up to the drawbridge and back. The parade starts at 1.30 on the 4th. Judges will award first, second, and third place plaques by the Overfalls Lightship at 3.30 that day. This event raises money for the Overfalls Foundation. Mayor Andrew Williams will MC, and it's not too late to sign up. Registration is accepted until 3 p.m. Wednesday, July 3rd. You can register at the Lewis Chamber of Commerce or Harbor Bay and Tackle Shop. We caught up with one of the judges and boat parade chair to see what we can expect from the event this year. Flags and um, all sorts of different themes. People get very creative. Um, in, in fact, the uh, Lewis Historical Society will feature two boats uh, going back to the period of 1812. There is a lot more happening in Lewis for Independence Day. Children's games on 2nd Street start at 9 a.m. The Doodah Parade is around 4.30 or 5 p.m. with fireworks launching at dusk. Still to come, the high cost of housing and the government's plan to bring prices back down. And coming up after the break, a busy day at the Supreme Court. We look at three different announcements, one of which wasn't supposed to be released yet. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 11. Kickstart your summer with Gateway Subaru, where they have more in-stock Subaru inventory to choose from than other dealers have combined. Get ready for adventure with a 2024 Subaru Outback or Subaru Forester with financing as low as 0.9%. Need more space? Go big with a 2024 Subaru Ascent with financing as low as 2.9%. Electrify your journey in a new 2024 Subaru Solterra with financing as low as 0%. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. Hey, bath guy, do you do roofs? Nope. Do you do lawns? Negatory. Do you do windows and siding? Not a chance. At Peninsula Bath, we're your local pros for bathroom remodeling, and that's it. Top quality, customer focus, and competitively priced. Ask about our free shower door upgrade and our neediest bathroom contest. Hey, Dad, can you take out the trash? No, son, not a chance. Peninsula Bath. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. 
Is your garage door in need of an upgrade or a repair? Then Clark & Sons Garage Doors can help. We believe your garage door should be more than just functional. It should be a reflection of your personality and style. With over 60 years serving the entire Delmarva Peninsula, Clark & Sons delivers quality craftsmanship and exceptional service every time. We provide free estimates on new garage doors. Plus, we offer comprehensive maintenance services to ensure your garage door stays in perfect working condition. So call today and discover why Clark & Sons is the name you can trust. Hey moms, you know those unforgettable face palms? Those moments that leave us both laughing and sighing. They're not just mishaps, they're our shared stories. Share your unique mom moments with us. Go to coastlife.com slash mom. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app today. This is Coast TV News at 11. We got a string of rulings and announcements from the Supreme Court today, but not all of them were released intentionally. The Supreme Court accidentally posted what appears to be a draft of its Idaho abortion decision. To be clear, this decision has not yet officially been released by the court, and the document was quickly removed from its website. However, Bloomberg Law, which obtained a copy of the document, is reporting that the decision would allow emergency abortions in Idaho, the Supreme Court issued a statement acknowledging that, quote, the court's publication unit inadvertently and briefly uploaded a document to the court's website. As for rulings that the court did mean to release, the Supreme Court today ruled in favor of a former mayor in Indiana accused of accepting a bribe. James Snyder was convicted of accepting $13,000 from a trucking company after it was awarded a contract with the city of Portage. The former mayor argued it was gratuity after the fact not covered by the federal bribery statute. Justice Brett Kavanaugh wrote the majority opinion, saying if the appeal were accepted, it could append rules about gratuities and create a trap for some 19 million state and local officials. And finally, the White House and federal agencies can continue to ask social media platforms to remove content that's identified as misinformation. That ruling from the Supreme Court Wednesday is considered to be a key victory for the Biden administration ahead of the election. The ruling allows the Department of Homeland Security to continue to flag posts on Facebook and X that may be the work of foreign agents trying to disrupt the elections. Republican officials in two states joined five social media owners to file the lawsuit, accusing the administration of engaging in a backdoor campaign of coercion rather than address the First Amendment issues, the case the court ruled the plaintiffs didn't actually have standing for the lawsuit. Coming up in sports, win or go home in Little League Baseball All-Stars. See if Del Mar or West Salisbury came out on top. And also the plan to bring housing costs down. The federal government is looking to make life a little easier to live, but will it work? Severe storms and heavy rain moving through the tri-state this uh, evening, but we are looking a bit better for golfing. Tomorrow afternoon with clearing skies, temperatures around 88, even better on Friday. We'll have a look at that 10-day forecast after the break. We salute the United States Coast Guard. The U.S. Coast Guard, often hailed as the Sentinel of the Seas, plays a crucial role in maritime safety, security, and environmental stewardship. From daring search and rescue missions to enforcing maritime laws, Coast Guard personnel are on the front lines protecting America's waters. We salute all those who have served and continue to serve in the Coast Guard, demonstrating unwavering valor and vigilance in their duties. Their commitment to safeguarding our nation's coastlines and maritime interests is vital for national security and the safety of those at sea. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. NBC News Daily, weekdays at 1 on Coast TV. 
When you visit the Delmarva Design Center, you'll experience a selection of appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring all together in one showroom. The 10,000 square foot location has a variety of inspiring samples for any project size or budget. Your dedicated product experts and designers collaborate to bring your dream project to life. Come and see what the kitchen industry buzz is all about. Experience the Delmarva Design Center in Selbyville, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva's coast. On Coast Life, unbeatable deals for the 4th of July. Plus, discover a tropical beach bar serving up Caribbean comfort food. And on Spill the Tea, a debate over posting photoshopped pictures? Tomorrow at 4 on Coast TV. Spring into adventure at IG Burton Chevrolet. Drive a new Silverado with up to $8,200 off MSRP. Or get finance rates as low as 1.9% with no payments for three months on Trailblazer, Equinox, Blazer, Colorado, and Malibu. Discover huge savings and great lease payments across our entire lineup. Details at IGBurton.com or stop by any IG Burton Chevrolet location today in Melford, Seaford, Lewis, or Berlin. Nobody beats a Burton deal. Nobody. Show a hard-working woman in your life the appreciation they deserve with Working Woman Wednesdays. It could be your mother, your wife, a co-worker, or any woman you know. Nominate them for a chance to win a special prize pack. Go to WBOC1025.com, fill out a short form, and tell us why they are so special and deserve to be honored. Then join me, Stinson, every Wednesday as I announce that week's winner. Working Woman Wednesdays, only on 1025 WBOC. Weather shapes our lives. At Coast TV, first alert weather means we are always at work, ensuring you have the information you need. We have a strong line that begins to press its way through central portions of Sussex. Because we know how much weather matters to our coastal community. Make sure you take cover from these storms. In sunshine forward. or storms, our promise is to guide, inform, and protect. Weather coverage that prioritizes you. Coast TV First Alert Weather. Your safety, our commitment. We have many truths to speak. Our truths are vast. They are unique. They are always evolving. Most of all, our truths are universal. Pride is universal. The docks of the Lewis Ferry Grounds were rocking tonight with music by the Amish Outlaws. Band members danced with the crowd and so did Coast TV's Petey the Peacock. In fact, Mallory Metzner was the MC tonight. Petey and Mallory will be at some select concerts throughout the Rock in the Docks summer series. The field in front of the stage was packed with lawn chairs as people enjoyed the show and shopped from local vendors and even food trucks. Looks great. So much fun. We have links to buy tickets on our website. The Biden administration is pushing to make housing more affordable. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen announced a plan earlier this week to help lower costs. Jen Sullivan looks at the various reasons for rising home prices. For the 11th month in a row, housing prices jumped year over year across the country, according to the National Association of Realtors. The median existing home sales price last month jumped 5.8% to $419,300, the highest price ever recorded. There is not enough inventory. So the buyers are left with so few choices. The housing affordability crisis is an issue impacting the entire U.S. We face a very significant housing supply shortfall that has been building for a long time. And this supply crunch has led to an affordability crisis. Speaking in Minneapolis this week, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen unveiled the Biden administration's plan to create a $100 million fund to help finance affordable housing projects over the next three years. But it's not just the lack of inventory that's driving up prices. While inflation overall has cooled, shelter costs, which measure things like rent and mortgage costs, continue to rise, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. As of June 20th, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate averaged 6.87 percent, according to Freddie Mac. In a recent analysis of data from Zillow and StreetEasy found rent prices last year grew faster than wages in about half of major metro areas. That is particularly upsetting because you know you can't really cut back on that. Many economic experts say these high housing costs aren't likely to come down anytime soon. For Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan.
Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. In the first round of the NBA draft tonight with the 16th pick, the Philadelphia Sixers selected Jared McCain, a guard from Duke, coming off his freshman season, earning a spot on the ACC All-Rookie Team. Moving on to Little League Baseball All-Stars District 8 elimination game between West Salisbury and Del Mar. We start in the second, already 5-0 West. Austin Justice grounds back to the pitcher. The out is made, but it brings in a run from third to make it 6-0. Then on the mound, Braden Wood rolled for West Salisbury, gets a swing and a miss for one of a couple second inning strikeouts for the righty. On to the third, now 6-2 West Salisbury, but Nathan Jackson comes through for Del Mar. He rips a single the opposite way and brings home a pair. That makes it 6-4 on that clutch swing. But the group in black and red came right back. Check out this sequence. Clara Simpkins swipes second base, and then the throw goes into center field. So Simpkins darts for third, and the throw is offline again. It's a sprint for the plate, and it adds to the lead. Unfortunately, a storm rolled in and called this game in the fifth inning. In the end, West Salisbury moves on with a 9-4 victory. And in Delaware Summer League basketball, a close one for game two of the night. Mallards came out on top against Fusion 35-32. Both teams will be back at it next Wednesday at the Factory Sports Complex. That'll do it for sports. Have a great night, everyone. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? Then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same-day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water. Or maybe into some hot water, if that's your issue. Same-day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877-GOLFER, FHFur.com. From empty nester to first home, Accessible Home Builders does it all. It was great working with Scott at Accessible Builders. He called us every Monday and asked us to come over to the house at each step of the way during the construction of our home. It was pretty unique working with Scott because not only is he the owner, but he was working in here hands-on with his employees and really just trying to make our vision come to life. Design your dream home with Accessible Home Builders. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. Nobody can drag me down. Summer Mixtape on 102.5 WBOC. Sponsored by Baths by Spicer Brothers. Show a hardworking woman in your life the appreciation they deserve with Working Woman Wednesdays. It could be your mother, your wife, a co-worker, or any woman you know. Nominate them for a chance to win a special prize pack. Go to WBOC1025.com, fill out a short form, and tell us why they are so special and deserve to be honored. Then join me, Stinson, every Wednesday as I announce that week's winner. Working Woman Wednesdays, only on 102.5 WBOC. Live look from our uh, Irish Eyes Pub and Restaurant Cam in Lewis. Lewis currently under a severe thunderstorm warning until 1145 issued by the National Weather Service. We could see winds gusting as high as 60 miles an hour. Torrential rain, you see the lightning there, and we're going to keep that thunderstorm threat throughout the overnight. UV index over the next few days will be high, but we do drop down to a six with some clouds and storms on Saturday, and then we go back up to an eight there on Sunday and Monday. Well, congratulations to our umbrella winner. Uh, we have that uh, coming up here, umbrella winner for the our umbrella giveaway, sponsored by Paul Davis.
Deb Bender of Millsboro, Delaware. Congratulations there. And don't forget to call 443-880-9100 for your latest forecast. Just call today. And there you see that extended forecast. A beautiful Friday, 78 under low humidity. We do see storm chances increasing for the weekend. And then we dry out as we start the month of July and heating up for the 4th of July. Thank you, Chris. We do appreciate that. And thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News at 11. I don't know if you guys could hear it at home. We're hearing yes. the rain on the roof right now. Uh, for more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. It's going to be hard to walk outside after this. The Tonight <laughs> Show starring Jimmy Fallon coming up next. We'll see you tomorrow for Coast TV News at 5 a.m. Have a great night.